Sometimes, your hardest decision in life becomes the one that changes your life in a positive way. For Belinda Gatland, an equine sports therapist, having her left leg amputated at the age of 40 meant she could finally lead a pain-free life. Belinda has been on a horse even before she learned to walk, and at the age of 21, during a point-to-point -point horse race, she had an accident that altered the course of her life. I started riding properly as soon as I could walk really and um, rode right all through my teenage years and then I took up race riding and became um, a jockey and had a bit of a thing for wanting to ride in three mile chases, point to points and under rules and then I got injured really, really badly and I spent two years in plaster and on crutches and having lots of operations and eventually, 18 years later, the bone was dying and there was no choice and I had to have my leg amputated. This Ramadan, she will become the first amputee in the region to wear a completely 3D printed prosthetic leg as part of the Dubai Health Authority's Year of Giving initiative. Within DHA, we have 3D Al Khair initiative, which is linked to uh, Amal Khair Year of Giving 2017. We're very happy to be part of this initiative. Um, we find patients that are in need of 3D printed items. We find students that are requiring 3D printed items, and we donate and give to them. Dubai Health Authority, in partnership with Arab Health, has set the stage to bring this technology to the region. In partnership with Dubai Health Authority, we are raising awareness and developing practical applications of 3D printing uh, in healthcare. And we are extremely proud to have facilitated and sponsored the region's first 3D printed prosthetic leg. MediClinic worked with two companies abroad to custom make the 3D printed foot for Belinda. Doctors believe the technology will help reduce costs of producing prosthetics, and the procedure is much simpler. The great thing is that the customer can absolutely design by himself also. We can always um, reproduce as we have everything saved into the computer. We just go to the computer, we don't have to look at the um, old styled um, casting techniques which we had always to do. Belinda credits the design of this prosthetic for a more natural feel and says the added benefit of 3D technology will be accessibility to those who most need it. It does actually really feel quite real, almost as if it's my real toes, so that when I break over on the foot, it feels like I have toes to push off on, which no prosthetic I've ever worn before feels like that, even a blade, which I have for running. You still have to learn to walk in it with a certain technique, and you don't feel the same push that you get from this new 3D leg that I'm now trying. And then the other thing about the 3D for me is that hopefully um, it will become cheaper and more accessible. One of the things that I've been slightly campaigning for ever since I've been an amputee, which is now 11 years, uh, is that the price of prosthetics will come down. The technology of the 3D will bring the price down because it will make it very much easier to just make a, a print of someone's leg and, and then, hey presto, you've got a brand new socket just like that, which should then hopefully not be so expensive as they are right now. Belinda never gave up her passion for horses all through her trying time. Hers is a story of courage and determination. And now, thanks to modern technology, she can ride through life with a bit more ease.